Dear Bayuts, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows pregnancy with fetal demise and ovarian cyst. You can see this is unibladder and this is the gestation sac and the uterus having products of conception. This patient has history of bleeding about one month ago and she was treated by a lady health worker and she prescribed some medicines to stop the bleeding and the pregnancy continued without knowing that the, fet the status of the fetus. So now when again there was some vaginal bleeding she came for scanning and you can see a small fetus inside the gestation sac. Now most cysts do not cause symptoms. If a cyst ruptured you may feel sudden pain and discomfort. If you have been diagnosed with ovarian cysts and are trying to get pregnant, it is important to know that ovarian cysts do not typically cause problems with fertility. However, there are always exceptions to the rule. You can see there is no fetal cardiac activity. Cyst may rupture during pregnancy. If a very early pregnancy, this will cause diagnostic confusion with ectopic pregnancy. Again, you can see this is the embryo. Rebound tenderness from the pain is possible and the hemorrhage from a cyst can rarely be severe enough to cause shock. If cyst ruptures, patient might have sudden sharp cramps on either side of the lower stomach below the belly button. The location depends on which ovary had the cyst. You may also have some spotting. Before the cyst ruptures, you may feel pain or pressure in the lower belly, thighs or low back. Now you can see the duration of the pregnancy is about six weeks, four days. And it is likely that the fetal had the pregnancy has with fetal demise about one month ago when the patient experienced bleeding for the first time but as the bleeding was stopped the pregnancy continued now you can see the fetus inside the gestation sac with no cardiac activity and there is no blood flow. Now as far as the chocolate cysts are concerned during pregnancy, despite the damage chocolate cysts do to the ovaries, many women with them can conceive naturally. And a study in 2015 showed that women with regular menstrual cycles and, and the chocolate cyst on only one ovary, researchers found 43% of them, the females were able to become pregnant naturally. So if the cyst gets big, it prevents the baby's head from engaging in the pelvis. Now again you can see the uterus. Now you can see the ovarian cyst. Now this is the ovarian cyst.
this is uterus this is the ovarian cyst now the symptoms of, of ovarian cyst during pregnancy are most ovarian cyst are asymptomatic and harmless but cyst that continue to grow can rupture or twist or cause complications during pregnancy and delivery these symptoms may include pelvic pain which may be isolated to one side abdominal fullness heaviness or bloating pain with fever or vomiting now you can see a cyst in the left ovary left ovarian cyst now this cyst with pregnancy and cyst may be mistaken for an early pregnancy or twin detailed bleeding history and thorough scanning technique is vital to avoid potentially costly mistakes uterine cyst are poor filled immobile and necroic structures but in this case there is ovarian cyst again you can see the uterus having a gestation sac and a product of conception a small fetal pole no fetal cardiac activity is visible or audible no blood flow is seen inside the gestation sac and a cyst in the left ovary is visible but the role of this ovarian cyst in the fetal demise is very suspicious thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks you can find some information